Hello all, welcome back. We are basically in the fifth part of the series, or the lesson. Um, I think what we may do at this point is actually get rid of these image planes. Okay, let's move that to uh, layer two. And of course head over to layer two. And in layer two, we have a box. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Now we can just go into uh, shaded mode and kind of work this out. Um, I feel like that crotch is a little bit uh, low. I want to raise it up a little bit, so let's go ahead and just kind of start playing with it a little bit. Move that up on Z. Let's move that up as well. Just kind of eyeballing some of these things. <coughs> That's a little bit better. Let's go to these vertices and pull those around a little. Okay. <coughs> now then. Oops. This one. I'm just going to tweak some of these because this stuff is looking kind of flat. Looks like we may need another division in there. So actually I want to work on the crotch a little bit too, a little bit more, so let's see uh if we can't milk a little bit better geometry out of that. Let's put that cursor there and center it. There we go. That our way. And let's go to the front. Want to get a little bit better shape out of this. Also not really satisfied with this flow. Um, let's go ahead and go to phases. Get rid of that one. And let's divide this one. Actually, let's undo that. I want to actually get rid of that one. And divide this. And then we can divide that. Okay, let's go to vertices. Let's extrude that one up and we'll create a quad and a quad right here face face and face okay let's kind of play with these a little bit we am playing with them okay and quite apparently it changes the flow a little bit See if we can just grab that entire loop and scale it on X down to zero. There we go. Let's also move it on X. Hold down shift to constrain it and just kind of try and center it on your pivot point. There we go. Fair enough. Okay. 
Now, like I was saying, I'm not really satisfied with that flow. Um, so let's see if we can rotate this one. That might be a little bit better. Let's join that. Alt J. And let's fix that up. Yeah. Actually, let's get that out of the way so we can grab this. Take that one up. Take this one up. Okay. And kind of want to change this flow right here. X faces. I'm just going to actually delete a couple of these. Let's go to vertices. Pull those up. We'll have to uh, adjust that a little bit. Let's uh, extrude that one twice. Go to edges, put a face here, whoops, <laughs> not there, that would be going through the back. Face there, ooh, I'll have to fix that, and see if we can go like that, go to vertices, grab and move, and it looks like I went the wrong way on that, let's undo that. So I want the uh, this to flow down around like this. Let's extrude that one out. Make a face here. Okay. Kind of play with the shape a little bit. And I'm going to add a division vertically. Let's see if she can go all the way around. And it doesn't. Looks like we're okay. And let's weld those at last. And now let's create a face right there. There we go. It's a little bit better. Let's pull those out on Y a little bit. Pull that in on Y. And this one will pull it in on Y. Continuing on. Okay. Pull that one out. Okay. Let's take those. Whoops, not that one. That one. Let's pull it out. Actually, that doesn't make much sense. We'll need those as well. There we go. Let's go those down to zero on Y. And pull them back. Okay, lots of tweaking going on. And it looks as though we kind of need to bring these forward. Same thing here. And we may need to add another division down there. So let's take these back a little bit. Let's grab all those. Actually, leave the bottom one. There we go. And I'm going to... Yep, that'll be okay. deselect some of these. Um, what I'm going to do is hit B for box and then B again for brush. And we use the middle mouse button to deselect those. There we 
Okay, let's right click to cancel out of that. Let's from this bird's eye view, let's deselect the bottom one. Um, or try. There we go. G to grab and move out a little bit. Now let's grow that selection and smooth it once. There we go. A for all. Okay. Let's go to the front because it's giving us uh, lots of geometry to work with. Pull those down a little bit. strong rib influence there. Take that up pretty sharp right there. Put this one in here and this one in here. Just kind of want to take them a little bit uh, further back without any regards to my own personal safety. You're like, oh uh, yeah, whatever that means. Okay. Okay. kind of have a little bit of a uh, knee going on here. Let's pull this out a little bit more. Let's look at that from the side, make sure we're grabbing the right spot. Okay. Let's go back to the front, grab both of those, go back to the side, pull this forward a little bit, pull that one up and in. Same thing with this one. kind of smooth these out a little bit. Let's look at that from perspective. Smooth that once. There we go. Go to the front. Let's pull that down and out. Okay, it's kind of an odd mingling of vertices and stuff up here. And I just realized that let's tab out of edit mode. Actually, let's tab back in and select all. Okay, we'll just grab this loop right here. Let's scale it on Z. I mean X down to zero and looks like it's pretty well centered on that but down here you can see that the calf kind of overlaps a little bit let's pull it in let's use our uh, fall off hitting O let's take it in take this in Okay, let's go ahead and put on a mirror modifier. There we go, let's make sure we aren't hitting. Okay, let's turn it on during editing and do clipping. Okay, let's go ahead and Alt, right mouse button, select that entire loop. Smooth it a little bit. 